soldiers? Right as we speak, there's a fierce battle raging in War Thunder. A new type of battle where troops use never-before-seen advanced weapon systems. Combat exoskeletons. There's no end in sight to this conflict, which means that every day, countless damaged exoskeletons are brought back here for repairs. They're amazing pieces of equipment, but they're not indestructible. And it's you, and only you, who can repair them so that they can be used once again. It's time to bring in heavy machinery and apply every bit of engineering knowledge that you have, because we're opening a repair factory. As usual, you'll only have to play War Thunder to prevail, and we'll provide you with all the information you need right now. To do repairs, go to the Workshop Repair Factory tab. In order to restore damaged exoskeletons to their original state, you first have to disassemble them. The problem is that some of their parts are, well, damaged. You'll have to repair those parts using special materials. How to get them, you ask? After each battle, you'll receive a bundle of these materials for every 2,500 mission points with each bundle containing from three to six materials. Keep in mind that in order to get these bundles, you have to play in vehicles that are at least rank three. You can also get materials by scrapping defective parts that can no longer be repaired. This factory is completely waste-free. Disassembling exoskeletons, repairing parts that can still be used, and scrapping parts that are completely unusable takes time. But you can spend this time in battles. Not to mention that players that manage to get first place on the leaderboards are also rewarded with a factory upgrade toolkit. If you get enough of those, you can upgrade your factory to speed up the process. In order to fully repair an exoskeleton, you have to have 12 functional parts. But that's not all. A newly repaired exoskeleton has to be shipped back to the front lines, and for that, we need special crates that are assembled from crate modules. You obtain them the same way you get parts, just for every 7,500 points of your mission score. Furthermore, every time you get a module, there's a slight chance to get a fully assembled crate as well. As usual, materials and crates can be bought and sold on the marketplace, but this time the way it works is slightly different. There's a new item, Blank Smart Contract, that you can also find in bundles of materials. You can use this new item to transform a resource into its tradable version on a one-for-one -one basis. After you get some resources, start working on those exoskeletons. Click the button that says, To the Factory. Here you'll see all the resources that you obtained in battle, through the marketplace, or by scrapping defective parts. Here are the damaged exoskeletons. The parts that you receive after taking those exoskeletons apart will be listed here. Once you have all the resources you need, start the repair process. Wait for it to finish, click the button to complete the process, and it's done! Here's your new part. After obtaining 12 functional parts, you'll be able to repair a single exoskeleton. After repairing five of those, load them into a special crate and ship it to its owners. Your reward for each shipment is a single acceptance certificate. Certificates can be engaged for special vehicles right here in the same window. For one acceptance certificate, you can get the AMD-35, a French armored car equipped with an SA-35 cannon. This is a highly mobile vehicle with a quick-firing armament, which is also very fast when moving in reverse, making it a great pick for flanking or setting up ambushes. If you prefer naval battles, then there's an option to exchange three acceptance certificates for the Shcherbakov light cruiser of Project 68 BIS. Compared to her researchable counterparts, she has an improved AA battery. Instead of 37mm automatic cannons, this light cruiser is equipped with six quadruple 45mm autocannon mounts. 
The Sherbakov light cruiser is a true universal warrior of high rank battles. If you're a Ground Battles fan, you can spend three certificates to obtain the Chinese QN506 multi-weapon armored vehicle, based on the chassis of the Type 59 tank. Chinese engineers gave it an impressive array of weapons, from a 30mm automatic gun to unguided missiles and HEGMs. This vehicle has something for everyone. Finally, pilots can use three certificates to get the A-7K, a two-seater variant of the legendary American attack aircraft that can deal with basically any target thanks to its wide variety of weapons, including Maverick missiles. And that's it. Fight other players, win battles, obtain materials, repair exoskeletons, and exchange acceptance certificates for cool new vehicles.